Welcome back to AVN Cinematics. Today's episode takes us all the way to Moldova. We invited Moldovan numismatist VA to tell us why a 15th century king is so important to Moldova. Hello, I am VA. I collect banknotes, coins, stamps, books, and I am also an amateur novelist. So today we will talk about Stefan the Third, or Stefan the Great, or as we say in Romanian, Stefan cel Mare. First, he was the voivod or king of Moldavia. And that was a very difficult job. This is current day Europe and this is current day Moldova. But things weren't quite as set in stone in the 1400s. In 1400s Europe, borders were fluid and entire countries could be erased from the map. So if you were ruling Moldova, then called Moldavia, you'd have to contend with three formidable neighbors. You had Poland, Lithuania to the north, you had Hungary to the west, and you had the Ottoman Empire to the south. And all of these were intent on invading or controlling your country. So Stefan the Great is important because he maintained 47 years of stable rule in a country that could have easily been erased. And that's done through political alliances, diplomacy, and carefully thought out guerrilla warfare. He is well known for the Battle of Vaslui, where he defeated the Ottomans, which outnumbered him greatly. A lot of the fighting that happened between these four countries happened for control of a region called Chilia. Chilia had strategic ports that were part of a trade route and they were also a great place for the Ottomans to launch a naval attack against Poland and Lithuania. Stephen the Great was known for his guerrilla warfare tactics and the Battle of Vaslui was one of the biggest defeats of the Ottoman Empire. What happened was when the Ottomans invaded, Stephen the Great removed their food source. He drove them into a marshy, wet valley on a winter night when it was foggy so they were stuck they were confused and he started attacking ottoman soldiers from all sides and he had his cavalry on the hill sound their horns really loudly so it sounded like a huge army was coming as reinforcements and the ottomans just ran he let the wounded turks return home and this was an, a very weird jest of the time he also made first moldovan armada which was a force to fear in the black sea he also made 59 churches and monasteries even that his country was small, he was respected from Denmark to Russia. His legacy is a simple one. He is loved and respected by Romanians. His face and his actions appearing on coins, banknotes and stamps. Perhaps the most interesting thing about a medieval king is how he affects a poet in the 2020s. VA writes poetry and he happens to have written just on this topic. I will read you a poem about Stefan, which I wrote last year. Stefan, cu sabia dreaptă și cu inima spartă, își vede țara invadată și de Dumnezeu lăsată. El nu zice nimic, respiră și face cruce, se pune pe cal care începe ca nebunul la fuge și văd ostașii ce vitează regile lor, moralul Iisus ca ei au zbor. Și nu contează că e polonez, maghiar sau otoman, Ștefan își iubește prietenii și îl omoară pe dușman. Guys, if you like that, please give it a like, subscribe, follow me and please follow Notifili14, that is VA, our guest's channel. And he is super knowledgeable on Eastern European coins and banknotes. I learned a lot from him and I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in my next episode.